It's week 66 of Zerg, so I'm going to show you guys his location, the items he's selling, and give you guys my recommendations for this week, and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here, welcome to Guardian Watcher. So, it is week 66 of Xur, but before we get into the video, if you haven't already entered into the Destiny 2 Forsaken Annual Pass giveaway for January 2019, then click on the link in the description box below for your chance to win. Don't make fun of my hunter, okay? I know she's ugly, but it's not her fault. But at least she's level, you know, 624 for power, so I'm happy with that. Anyways, so, Xur is located on IO. And he is by the giant scar in this little cave. So let's go ahead and find out what he has this week. Zer, what's up, dude? Check out my moves, man. Check out my moves. So, like always, we're gonna go ahead and start on the left hand side. Oh wait, I have a gift to give him. Yay! Oh, thank you, Zer. Thank you, Zer. Thank you for that in return. And I also have a weekly challenge completed. Sweet. So. On the left hand side we have the Sweet Business, which is an exotic auto rifle. Then we have the Orpheus Rig for the Hunter, the Hollow Fire Heart for the Titan, as well as the Claws of Ahamkara for the Warlock. We're going to go ahead and start with the Orpheus Rig. The treasure perk on this is Uncanny Arrows, which grants Deadfall and Mobius Quiver energy. Then we have Fusion Rifle Dexterity, Hand Cannon Dexterity, Outreach, Scout Rifle Scavenger, as well as Special Ammo Finder, and I don't have the ornament for the Orpheus Rings. That's kind of sad, but it's okay. So, if you guys do not have the Orpheus Rings, go ahead and grab it. It is definitely a good exotic in PvE. i probably going to go ahead and rate it a Tier 1.5 to Tier 2 in PvE, but probably a Tier 2.5 in PvP. Because unless you're doing something like uh, Mayhem, for example, Orpheus Rig really isn't going to do much. And especially when you need a lot of enemies close together for you to get the most benefits out of Orpheus Rig. Next, we're going to go over the Hollow Fire Heart for the Titan. The treasure perk on this is Sun Fire Furnace, which solar abilities regen faster, even faster if Super is charged. Then we have Unflinching Bow Aim, Unflinching Fusion Rifle Aim, Unflinching Kinetic Aim, Scout Rifle Reserves, as well as Special Ammo Finder. And I actually do have the uh, ornament for this, but it's and it's called uh, Vulcan's Heart. Unfortunately, I guys can't show you because I'm not on my Titan, but it's okay. So if you guys don't have this, go ahead and grab it. It is definitely a Tier 2 in PvE as well as PvP. It is great. And I definitely consider it top tier for the Titan. Next, we're going to go over the Claws of Ahamkara for the Warlock. And trying to perk on this is the Whispers, which you gain an additional melee charge. Trying to perk on this is Future Rifle Loader, Hand Cannon Loader, Impact Induction, Sniper Rifle Scavenger, as well as Machine Gun Scavenger. If you don't have this, go ahead and grab it. It is definitely just like the Hollow Fire Heart a tier 2 in PvE as well as PvP. Although I do feel like it's a lot better in PvP than it is PvE. So definitely go ahead and grab that if you guys do not have it. As for consumables, we have your Five of Swords and this is for your Nightfall uh, Challenge card. And then last but not least, we have your Fated Engram for 97 Legendary Shards. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of the video. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to watch these videos as well. You never know. You just might like them. And if you do, leave a like, share them, and then come back for more. Because you know you want to. Thank you guys for watching. And remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.